What's up boys, it's Dual Faction once again another video and it's going to be another combo tutorial. This time I'm going to show you a uh, combo tutorial for Venger at Zombies, or Nightmare Venger, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to extra link with this deck today, and uh, it's actually really cool. So the only th you only really need two cards, or it's like a two and a half card combo, because you need something to discard. So the three Ash in the hand says to signify three random cards in your hand, while the other two cards are any form of Foolish Burial Monster and a ritual spell of some sort or a way to get to a ritual spell. So today I'm going to show it with Gozuki and Revendred Evolution. Um, note that throughout the entire combo string almost all the cards I'm going to show you that you're using can be interchangeable how to start the combo and they all end the same. But without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the combo. So we'll put the three ash down here just to kind of show you. So how I would start this off is I normal summon Gozuki and activate the effects. Um, in this case, we're going to send Revan Dread Slayer from the deck to the grave. Then from here, we'll activate Revan Dread Evolution, which this one lets you ritual summon by sending one from the deck to the graveyard and then ritual summoning from the hand or graveyard. So in this case, we're going to add Revan. We're going to ritual summon Revan Dread Slayer. Um, from here, this is where you can do your first Link Summon by using the Gozuki and the Slayer, and you're going to get to Vampire Sucker. Uh, this will activate the effect of your Revan Dread Slayer that you just linked off. And you are going to add a... Where'd it go? You're going to add an Origin to Hand. And you're going to send Battle Lord from your deck to the graveyard. And then we'll shuffle just a second by. So. From here. You'll activate the copy of Revan Dread Origin. And you'll ritual summon this by banishing two zombies from your graveyard. So in this case, I'm going to banish a Gozuki and a Revan Dread Slayer. The effect of your Vampire Cycle activate, you'll draw a random card. So, random card. And then, from here, what I do is I activate the effect of a Revan Dread Battle Lord. So, its effect is essentially Shockmaster. You call a Monster Spell or Trap. Um, since this would be game one, you don't know what you're going to play against, and hand traps are usually what stops your deck or an infinite impermanence. It's more likely that they'll have a hand trap that they're holding rather than impermanence, so I always call monster. Uh, from this point, you're going to use the Vampire Sucker and the Battle Lord to Link Summon. And that is going to make your Summon Sorceress, which makes all these combos possible. From here, the effect of your Battle Lord is going to activate. And you're going to add one Ritual Monster. So, I'll just add another copy of Battle Lord. Because you'll need it to reveal later. And you send a Vendred Monster, so we're going to ven send Vendred Sturges. So from here, since the Sur Sturges was sent off the Battle Lord's effect, you can activate it by revealing the Ritual Monster you just added, which was Va Battle Lord. And you're going to summon the Sturges to a zone that Summon Sword points to. This is actually important for the combo. Uh, from here in the combo string, you're going to use Summon Sword's effect, target the Sturges. And that's going to summon one, the, uh, the one of Goblin Zombie that you play in your deck. Now, from here, you're going to link off the Goblin Zombie and the Sturges. Note, the Sturges does get banished since it was summoned by its effects. And that is going to let you link summon for a Goblin Zombie. So, from here, your Goblin Zombie is going to activate. This is where your first random discard comes into. And your goblins, I think this is actually the only random discard you need. But random discard and then goblins obviously effect will activate to net you a zombie master from your deck to hand. Okay. And now from here you use the additional normal summon to your zombie master. Or additional normal summon of nightmare goblin to normal summon your zombie master from your hand that you just added. Now activate the effect of zombie master. You can discard the ritual monster that you added off of that, uh... Yeah, that you added off Battle Lord. And you're going to bring back your Goblin Zombie. From here, you're going to link the Goblin Zombie and the Summon Sork off. And that's going to summon your Firewall Dragon. Now, your Goblin Zombie's effect will activate again. And this time, you are going to add... Where's that? You're going to add Shira Nui Solitaire. Uh, next part of your combo string, you're going to link the Nightmare Goblin off. And to Nightmare Mermaid. Uh, so Nightmare Mermaid's effect is going to be Chain Link 1, your Firewall's effect is going to be Chain Link 2. 
again, random discard. And remember, you you already drew a card off of Vampire Slayer, so this is free Nightmare Mermaid activation. And then your Firewall's Chainlink 2, so summon the Solitaire that you added off Goblin Zombie. And you're going to Special Summon an Idly. From here, you're going to link these two off. And you're going to make a second Goblin. So from here, you have two monsters co-linked to your firewall. And um, oh, don't forget, you're going to activate a police effect and put it on your opponent's side of the field. And then from here, you're going to use your firewall's effect. You're going to add two cards back since it's co-linked by two. So you're going to add back Zombie Master. You're going to add back Goblin Zombie. Next, you'll activate the effect of Solitaire. Tribute it as a cost. You're going to special summon Unizombie. This will activate the effect of your Firewall once again, and you're going to special summon Goblin Zombie. Activate the effect of Uni, and you're going to send a copy of Mizuki from your deck to the graveyard. You will link the Unizombie and the Goblin. And this is going to summon your Underclock Taker. So your effect of Firewall will be Chain Link 1, and your Goblin Zombie will be Chain Link 2. So you're going to add a copy of Mizuki. Yeah, I already sent one off. Okay, cool. And then resolve your firewall to summon a zombie master. So then from here, you'll activate the effect of your zombie master once again, because it's not once per turn. Discard the Mizuki you added. And special summon goblin zombie. Link the goblin zombie and the underclock taker off. And you are going to make your Trigate Wizard. Your Goblin Zombie's effect will activate once again. And remember, you only need two Mizukis for the combo. So from here, I'm going to add Vendred Core. Because you need it for the extra link. And then from here, you activate your first Mizuki in your graveyard to bring back your Goblin Zombie. Uh, from here, you link off the Zombie Master and the Goblin Zombie. And this is going to net you a Phoenix right here. Uh, your firewall effect will be chain link one. Your goblin zombie will be chain link two. So here, I am going to go grab the bacon saver, as we, as I showed you in the profile. And then your firewall's effect will resolve. Special summoning Vendred Core. Now you're going to link the core off. And remember, that's still a live effect in a graveyard if you need an extra link material, or if you find yourself needing an extra link material. And you're going to make a link Karibo. Now, this will also activate the effect of uh, your firewall once again, and you're going to special summon the bacon saver off the firewall. Use the bacon saver in the firewall, and you link into Cerberus. And then from here, you can either leave the board like this, or what I like to do, personally myself, is I activate the effect of the second Mizuki in the graveyard. And then I'm going to summon Vampire Sucker. And then the reason I say this, because instead of having Link Karibo here, in this zone, you can link these two off. And you make a Nightmare Unicorn. So now, you ha this combo itself ends with two cards in hand. And then, on top of the two cards of hand, you have your opponent extra linked with a, a sick Nightmare board with Nightmare Mermaid, Cerberus, Goblin, Phoenix, and a Unicorn. So, your opponent ends with an Ibley on their side of the field. You have a Nightmare Mermaid decreasing everything by 1,000 attack and defense. You have a Cerberus protecting everything from card effect. You have Nightmare Goblin preventing your cards from being targeted. You have a Nightmare Phoenix that prevents all your co link monsters being destroyed by battle. And, if they can't break your board or can't break any of these co links, your Nightmare Unicorn is going to net you five draws during your next turn, plus you have two extra cards in hand. Also, another cool thing to note about this combo, they can't turn the Ibley into attack position and crash it to get it all off the field, because the Bacon Saver will negate the attack, which I think is a really cool interaction, and I really I, I, I love the tech. Um, arguably, you could have searched a third Mizuki in that combo at any set point instead of uh, searching Bacon Saver and whatnot, but, I mean, it's however you want to end the combo. I just kind of want to show you what you could do with this deck, just with two cards and two random discards. Uh, but that was the first combo I'm going to show you with Vendred. Uh, I am going to show you the Gumblar combo next. If there's any other combos you want to see, I might show you the Loop 5 combo too, but that one, I don't think that board's as strong. But anyway, 
always remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like the content. Like I said, just let me know and I'll keep showing you combos of the deck if you want to see them. Thanks for watching.